Built in 1729, Old South Meeting House is Boston's national historic landmark where Liberty found her allies and the American Revolution got its voice. It was here at Old South Meeting House that meeting by meeting, vote by vote, the American Revolution began. Old South Meeting House blends the traditional New England Meeting House architecture with Anglican architecture. The exterior is designed in the style of Sir Christopher Wren, who designed churches in London. The standard look of Wren's architecture include a standing tower at the end of the building, the arched windows, and the Flemish bond brick. When you enter Old South Meeting House, you'll see an example of New England Puritan Meeting House style. When you come in, you'll see that the pulpit is the architectural highlight of the building, and there's a short aisle that leads up to it, as opposed to an Anglican church where you walk down the large, long central aisle at the length of the building. Inside Old South Meeting House, you'll see recreated box pews that give a feel for what it was like here in the colonial era when the entire floor and lower gallery were filled with box pews. The original congregation that met here were descendants of the founders of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and they included some of the most notable families of the era. In the years leading up to the American Revolution, Old South Meeting House gained a reputation as the largest dissenting meeting house in town most notably for our role in the Boston Tea Party. On December 16, 1773, the colonists made their decision. Not receiving the answer they hoped for from the colonial governor, the colonists took action. It was here at Old South Meeting House that Samuel Adams gave his signal to the Sons of Liberty. This meeting can do nothing more to save our country. It was at those words that the colonists left here from Old South Meeting House, went down to the harbor, and dumped 340 chests of tea into the water. Today, Old South Meeting House is open daily as a museum, a treasured national historic landmark that keeps our revolutionary heritage alive.